Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River, North Dakota. So we are here, we are going to uh, plant our canola. This is actually take two of this. Um, as you can see, we have a string of fertilizer. And come to find out, uh, at first, this drill uh, would not direct seed. So, had to go in and... Uh, change that in the XML files and uh, make it so it would but now we are good to go and it uh, will direct seed for us so it was basically just being a big old fertilizer spreader at the moment um, but now we have it uh, working correctly and uh, we can finally get some canola seeded. Definitely going to be a big upgrade running this drill over our previous one. Uh, definitely going to help us out a lot. <clears throat> Hopefully, we have uh, we make good profits from all of our crops, and we can hopefully upgrade our. Uh, corn planter as well. Okay, the ridge markers do work. But uh, for now, we'll just worry about this. This is the only stuff that we're going to be planting here this fall yet anymore anyways, so... Canola does take quite a bit of fertilizer though, I didn't realize that. Canola's not one that I really use all that often but <clears throat> it is actually getting to be a more common crop around this area uh, my boss actually thought of putting some in this year but things just ended up not working out that way I think I think there was kind of a shortage on seed this year or something like that um, due to last year or something. I can't remember. Or maybe it was last year that that was the problem. But uh, instead we ended up just farming more soybeans. So, oop. Getting a little far away here. I don't want to leave a strip like that. I think this drill is definitely going to be here for a little while. And, uh, at least until we can, uh, afford and justify a, uh, air seeder, that is. This is definitely making uh, short work of this for us, which is good. So we'll seed it, and then uh, we'll come back over it with our spreader, and uh, <clears throat> we'll put some lime down after we roll it. And uh, just do it that way, rather than seeding into it. It's definitely nice now. We uh, aren't going to have to come back over this with the sprayer just for fertilizer. We will obviously have to come back over it to uh, spray it, but uh, for weeds, that's a little different. I 
Actually, I haven't used this drill a whole lot. So I didn't even realize that it uh, did not direct seed. I can't remember though. I think if I remember correctly, but I'm not positive. I think this was actually a FS19 mod that somebody converted over. I could be wrong on that, but it's kind of what I'm thinking. But it is pretty nice, and it is a deer product, so that's even better for us. Because uh, I think moving forward... Uh, we're going to kind of look more at uh, John Deere equipment. So, I'm going to kind of try to stick with the old John Deere green. We might throw in some other stuff here and there, but I think we're going to mostly run this as a John Deere operation. So as we upgrade machinery, we will uh, look more in the green section. Perfect. So that is field 28 done. So it is currently canola. Um, and it was seeded with fertilizer. I'll pop across the road here. <clears throat> I'm not even going to bother folding it up. We'll just take up all of the road, because why not? So I'm going to see here once. I wonder how accurate these, uh, ridge markers will be probably not very but we'll give her a whirl once and see Should work out good though. We should shouldn't need any more seed or fertilizer um, to finish, so that'll help us out a lot. <clears throat> and uh, once our wagon is empty, then we're going to. Um, probably just start buying our seed in the bulk totes uh, from Hefty. So, um, we'll probably find a good place to stack all of those. Pretty close. So that's good to know. We're just gonna go ahead and seed it though. Since we got such a wide area to be able to turn around on, we're just gonna do one headland for now. speed down a little bit. 
Nine's still a little fast, but it's better than nothing. Whoops. I totally did that turn the wrong way, but this end's a little narrower, so we are going to do another pass right here. Those trees are a little close to turn around correctly. There we go. Now we should be alright. Couple more passes and we'll have this one knocked out and then we'll uh, take this back into the yard. Get it cleaned up. I'm probably not going to empty it We'll just leave everything in it. Um, for now, well, nah, we probably will empty it. We'll see if we can unload the fertilizer back into our trailer. And then uh, get it cleaned out into a tote. But I think we'll worry about it later on. We'll... Uh, focus more on getting everything finished so that way the canola crop is done and ready to rock and then uh, after that's done then it's on to soybean and corn harvest so that'll be really nice moving uh, Moving ourselves right along here. Perfect. All right, let's get folded up. And back to the farm. Sweet. So, I think we'll... I guess see here once we get in the yard, but I think we'll probably just unhook this by the pressure washer for now. Yeah, we got room. Okay. So, we'll just pull it up right here and unhook it. And then we'll uh, worry about washing it later. Perfect. And we'll grab the roller. We're just going to use this guy to uh, do all of it here, I think. We'll get this guy hooked up. Start rolling. And while that unfolds, we'll change this here. Get that up to date, and away we go. I think we'll go around it once and then probably run it at an angle. I'm thinking here. Make it a little easier to uh, see what we have and have not rolled. I 
This is normally a job that I let the hired hands deal with, but we, uh, we are our own hired hands for now, unfortunately. So, for now, we just gotta make do with it. Hopefully in the next year, we can uh, start hiring some help once we uh, kind of get ourselves established a little more. Year, maybe two, we'll see, I guess. reality if uh, we wanted to we could honestly look into selling our big case tractor our uh, traction king there because this tractor has pretty close to the same amount of power um, and then we could just end up hooking our two gravity wagons together or even look into uh, just selling them completely and buying a another grain truck or something maybe selling ours off uh, wasn't the best idea but If we could find a uh, good grain truck for cheap, we could uh, look into doing that. Alright, so 40 is done with the roller. Let's take a quick peek here once. Let's see if anything's on sale. So there's a 40-40. Hmm. And it's got 28 hour, 280 hours on it. Uh, an axial flow combine, Titan spreader. Uh, chassis. There's a. Uh, 230 grain head. Nothing much that uh, would benefit us. Let's go ahead and we're going to just pull up right here. It unfolded and off we go. And now, just because I'm curious now after thinking about it, so 300 and 190. But I don't think anything of ours really needs, so like 125, 120. 160, yeah, so I mean with us having sold the uh, tillage equipment, now we really don't need that uh, big case anymore. So we might, uh, might just run that down and maybe uh, get rid of her. I'll do some talking with the uh, dealership and uh, see um, how close to that estimated trade-in 
we can get for that tractor and uh, see if we could benefit from trading in the tractor and our wagons and getting another grain truck um, or maybe even two because it would be nice to have three around but we kind of have to see because we really don't have quite the need or the room for a semi yet um, uh, that's just a little big for our operation at this point so that's kind of out of the question but if we got uh, some street trucks that could benefit us so we'll look into that uh, especially with like corn harvest coming up um, I mean hopefully our corn is gonna be high yielding so we could benefit from having more uh, hauling capacity around but we don't really know yet until we actually get into the fields So, time will tell, but uh, I will definitely have a chat with uh, our salesman down at the dealership, um, old Rob. He's been a big help. Uh, he's actually the one that pointed me in the direction of the auction where I found all, well, the two auctions, I guess. That I found all of our equipment at and uh, so who knows maybe he knows of a uh, good auction somewhere with uh, some straight trucks maybe we can look into that we will just kind of have to wait and see I guess Maybe we'll uh, maybe I'll drive down there later on and visit with them a little bit. See what he knows. done sweet now all that's left is just to oops wrong one uh, put down some lime and then we're done So we're just going to pull this over here for now. Um, we'll wash it up here a little later. And let's get hooked, hooked on to our spreader here. don't think we have anything in it. Nope. So let's run over and go get a load of lime. And uh, bring it on back.
Definitely ready for uh, corn and beans here. It's going to be very nice. It'll be nice to get the rest of the crops off, to be more precise. It'll be nice to see them go in our bins. I did actually look up to um, the real life Forest River elevator and man did Smevy do a great job uh, replicating that. Like it's crazy. He is pretty spot on to it. <clears throat> he definitely uh, took the extra time and effort to replicate the real buildings and get everything as close and exact as he could and that's really awesome I admire that Get pulled under here. We'll open up the tarp and fill her up with lime. Perfect. And then we'll run this back to the yard and uh, That'll probably uh, be it for today. And then tomorrow we'll take care of the liming and uh, maybe have a chat with the fellows down at the dealership there. See what we can make happen. That is definitely quite the uh, scale house. Kind of similar, or reminds me of uh, the one at the ethanol plant that my boss hauls corn to. It's definitely a nice operation at uh, that ethanol plant. So we'll just pull into the yard for now. And we will take a look too. We got uh, something different in the shop there. You guys might have caught that as we went by. But we'll run in and take a look at it quick. Oh, we had lime sitting there. Forgot about that. That's all right. Okay, so if we come on in here, so we have a uh, different oil barrel now. Um, this is an edit done by Farmerboy69, or better known as, uh, I think it's Lone Tree Farms. Um, he had put this edit out. It's the same thing as the Motorex uh, oil, but... He just changed the look of the barrels to be uh, John Deere plus 50. So 
a little more of an American oil look. So that's kind of neat. I'd actually, it crossed my mind to doing the same thing. Uh, so it's kind of neat to see him do that. But uh, I think that's going to be it for today, folks. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next video.